Hey folks, welcome back. Today we are doing a head to head Ubuntu or Fedora. Which one should you use and why? I'll walk you through installers, desktops, software, hardware, releases, and which one might fit your workflow. Let's go. Quick thing this is from a desktop perspective. I'm not diving into container or server variants. If you use Linux for servers or specialized containers, some trade offs change. All right, starting with installation. Ubuntu uses the Ubiquiti installer, very approachable. In many cases, you can install Ubuntu in around 10 minutes. It usually detects Windows for easy dual boot setup and even lets you install updates and third party codecs during installation. That out of the box ease is a big reason Ubuntu became popular. Fedora uses Anaconda, which is powerful and flexible. It's not hard, but I found certain partition tasks like reclaiming space a little trickier than Ubuntu's guided flow. Fedora also has a media writer tool that makes creating a bootable USB straightforward. Bottom line, Ubuntu is marginally simpler for quick installs. Fedora gives you more low level control if you want it. Both default to GNOME. Fedora ships with almost stock GNOME. A clean upstream experience, Ubuntu customizes GNOME to feel a bit more like the old Unity interface, different theming, tweaks, and usability choices. If you prefer KDE, XFCE, Cinnamon, etc., both distros offer official spins flavors. Ubuntu's flavors, Kubuntu, Zubuntu, Lubuntu, are maintained by separate teams, while Fedora's spins are community backed by the Fedora project itself. So both have legit alternatives. Try a live session to feel which desktop vibe you prefer. Ubuntu uses APT and .deb packages, Fedora uses DNF and .rpm packages. Ubuntu's repos are huge and a lot of third-party devs ship .deb packages or snap packages. Fedora focuses on free and open source software. For proprietary or extra apps, you often enable RPM Fusion or use Flatpak. Pro tip, Flatpak works great on both distros for sandbox desktop apps. So if something's missing from the repo, Flatpak often saves the day. In general though, you'll usually find more immediate Debian slash Ubuntu targeted installers out there. Hardware support can make or break the experience. NVIDIA GPUs are the poster child for friction on Linux. Nuvo, the open driver, can be flaky. Ubuntu makes it easier to install proprietary drivers through the additional drivers tool, so things like NVIDIA often just work faster. Fedora adheres more strictly to open source first policies, which can mean extra setup for proprietary drivers. If you rely on vendor drivers, NVIDIA, some wireless chips, Ubuntu may reduce hassle. If you prefer upstream open source drivers and bleeding edge kernels, Fedora is a strong choice. If you use Windows a lot, Ubuntu is officially available on WSL, which gives you a seamless Linux environment inside Windows. Fedora can be made to work on WSL, but it doesn't have the same official presence. So Ubuntu wins this round for Windows users. Both distros have active communities. Ubuntu has Ask Ubuntu, Ubuntu forums, and tons of tutorials across the web. That sheer volume makes it easier to troubleshoot unusual problems. Fedora's community is also active and helpful, and their docs are very good. But because Ubuntu is more widely used on desktops, you'll typically find more how-to articles for it. Fedora releases every six months and each release is supported for about 13 months. That means frequent upgrades if you always run the latest release. Ubuntu also has six month regular releases, but crucially it has LTS long-term support versions every two years with five years of support. Great if you want fewer major changes and a stable base for work. If you like stability, LTS Ubuntu or using Fedora with care about upgrades are both options. Ubuntu is based on Debian and backed by Canonical. Fedora is upstream for Red Hat and backed by the Fedora community and Red Hat slash IBM. That enterprise backing for both projects keeps them maintained and reliable. It's not hobbyist flakiness here. Fedora also acts as a testing ground for technologies that land in Red Hat Enterprise Linux later. If you want the least friction for apps, drivers, and tutorials, try Ubuntu first. If you prefer cutting edge open source tech and learning the Red Hat side of the ecosystem, try Fedora, don't guess. Try both via live USBs or in a VM for an hour each. Sometimes the feel of the desktop makes the call. 
Also, for me, Fedora is best because it just works and doesn't break easily. So really, both are great. Ubuntu leans toward convenience and broad compatibility. Fedora leans toward pure open source principles and upstream tech. Try live sessions, test your hardware, and pick the one that fits your workflow. You can always switch later. Linux makes it easy to experiment. If this helped, smash that like button and subscribe. Tell me which distro you use and why in the comments. Want a one minute short, a short list for recording, or a comparison checklist PDF? I'll make it. Just say which one you want. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one.